Hello Taproot users, welcome back to the Taproot Software Academy. Today we're going to go ahead and continue on our investigation for the employee sprain's ankle. Last time we discussed what causal factors are and how to identify them in the snap chart. So we'll go ahead and do a quick review of that and then we will go ahead and analyze our causal factor through our root cause tree to determine the root cause of the issue. So we'll go ahead and open the snap chart and we will select lights out because we determined that was the causal factor. And again, a causal factor is a mistake, error, or failure that directly leads to or causes an incident or fails to mitigate the consequences of the original error. Well, the light being out uh, caused the employee to sprain their ankle by stepping in a pothole. So we'll go ahead and mark that as the causal factor and we'll go ahead and close the window. And if you notice now, we have causal factor lights out analyze the root cause tree, and that's what we're going to go ahead and focus on today. So we'll go ahead and open that, and you see we have four bubbles here. This is our tree view. If you want to not use the graphical view and use the text base, you can go to our question view, and then you can just answer these questions and then select these categories accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the tree view for now. So we've got human performance difficulty, equipment difficulty, natural disaster, sabotage, or other. Well, I know it's not other, so I'm gonna go ahead and cross that off, set all the questions to no. Same thing with natural disaster and sabotage. I don't think someone intentionally didn't have the lights out in the parking lot. So we'll go ahead and set all questions to no here as well. So most likely it's going to be something with the equipment difficulty or human performance difficulty. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight human performance difficulty first. And we'll go through here and see what we can figure out is the root cause. So looking at the questions, was a person excessively fatigued, impaired, upset, bored, distracted, or overwhelmed? We don't know that, but my guess really would be no, and it really had no bearing on the lights being out. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this as no. Uh, should the person have had a written procedure? You don't need a written procedure to walk into the parking lot. There was no mistake made for a procedure that doesn't exist. There are no alarms or warnings or displays to recognize, respond. So I'll go ahead and choose no as well. Did the person need more knowledge? You don't need knowledge to walk through the parking lot. Was, it, was work performed in an adverse environment such as hot, humid, dark, cramped, or hazardous? Absolutely. It was dark outside, and with the light being out, it was even more an adverse condition. Did the work involve repetitive motion, uncomfortable positions, or heavy sitting? No. Okay, there is no team performance, so we're just going to go ahead and cross all these off quickly. And again, there was no management system. This was an individual issue, so there's nothing really to look at this from the management side. Okay, so I've got all those selected as no. So was it performed in an adverse environment? Yes, it was. So now we're going to look at the human engineering. So human machine interface. Labels need improvement. Arrangement, display needs improvement. Controls need improvement. Monitoring needs improvement. Plant differences, excessive lifting. So I don't see anything in here that would cause that. So I'm going to go ahead and select, deselect them all. Now looking at work environment, uh, housekeeping needs improvement. Hot, cold, no on both of those. Wet or slick, we don't know that, but lights being out wouldn't have, uh, the wet or slickness wouldn't have made a difference with the lights being out, so we'll say no. Lights needed improvement. Noisy, obstruction, cramped quarters, High radiation contamination or equipment guard needs improvement. I think the only thing that applies would be lights need improvement. If they were out, obviously we need improvement and figure out why they're out and get that replaced. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect everything else. And so for the human performance difficulty section, we determined that the root cause was lights need improvement. Well, the lights needing improvement 
Are they maintained? How are the lights checked to, to see whether they are functioning properly or not? Are they defective? The per, uh, procuring it, manufacturing, handling, storage, quality control. Uh, with the light in the parking lot, I wouldn't assume there's a lot of quality control that should have been done prior to installing it in the parking lot. To me, the bigger issue is the preventative predictive maintenance. Is there anything in place that would look for the lights on a periodic basis to see if the bulbs are out or is there a procedure in place to prevent lights from going out by replacing the bulbs, checking the electric uh, connections on a regular basis? So I'm going to go ahead and mark no for the parts defective. And then I'm going to go ahead and say no for repeat failure and everything underneath there. But I'm going to say yes for predictive preventative maintenance. And after talking, it seems like there was no preventative maintenance in place for this equipment. So we actually need improvement. So we have an option for no PM for equipment or PM for equipment needs improvement. Well as there's nothing in place after talking to the employees we determine we'll determine that no predictive preventative maintenance in place is another root cause. So we have our two root causes here. As you can see, identified down below. Root causes identified. Lights need improvement and no PM for equipment. So now that we have that, the next step will be to go ahead and go into our corrective actions and develop corrective actions to prevent this from happening again, which we'll do in a later video. If you have any questions, give us a call at 865-357-0080 or send an email to support at taproot.com. And remember, just because it's technical doesn't mean it has to be complicated. Have a great day and thanks for watching.